thing tonight, $1.3 million in road improvements is coming to Anderson County thanks in part to the gas tax we pay at the pump. 7 News' Asia Wilson shows us where the changes will happen. Well, Anderson County Road and Bridges crews say that this has been in the works for quite some time, and now the time has finally come for them to repave many roads that look like this in some neighborhoods. When it gets to this point of alligator cracking, where it looks like it's an alligator, um, when, once water gets into these cracks and gets up under it, it just destroys the subgrade underneath. Matt Hogan, Anderson County Road and Bridges Manager, says this is the reality for many neighborhoods in the county. They're definitely uh, potholes. We get several calls of uh, just the road breaking up. But this summer, hopefully $1.3 million will bring relief to about three miles of roads. Cracks here are, are really Severe. This means roughly 30 small roads, mostly within subdivisions That's like Whitney Rose, does. will get some relief. If you drive, um, there's a lot of potholes and a lot of things that are hard on your um, your car. Um, so that's going to be one huge plus. The governor subdivision will be paved uh, Ennis Brook subdivision off of um, Shackleburg Road is another one. Uh, the Forest Hills subdivision in Williamston. Airport and Shirley Dairy roads are in the mix too. Hogan says most of the roads have not been touched since the mid 80s and now they will be reconstructed. We're going to have to actually dig down six to eight inches and get into the subgrade and rebuild gravel, you know, subgrade underneath the, the asphalt. So hopefully it'll last another 25, 30 years. While the county says this is just the start of rebuilding the roadways, Rose says she's happy her kids will be able to play without hitting any bumps in the road. Um, big thing for the, the subdivision um, is for our children and like riding bikes and little um, toys and push toys out here, um, not having so much wear and tear in the road um, is going to be um, a positive thing. Now the Anderson County Road and Bridges Manager says that crews will be paving all summer long. They expect the projects to be complete by the end of November. In Anderson County, Asia Wilson, 7 News. Uh, the Road and Bridges Manager also said they're working with County Council to make a more consistent revenue stream for asphalt paving. The manager says they hope the plan will be in the works within about a year.